welcome to this video NPTEL has announced the exam dates those who have registered for NPTEL exam they have received mail in this regard they have sent one mail there they mentioned three options so option 1 says about online examination option 2 says about exam will be conducted at exam centers like every year they do option 3 says about cancellation of the examination so we will see detail about these three options the first option tells that if the participant is going to choose option 1 then they have to complete mock test before attending the exam it is mandatory it is a 10 minute test for attending this online test the participant should have some requirements so the requirements are laptop or desktop with webcam audio so this is the basic requirement so if the participant is having laptop or desktop with cam uh, and audio then they will be eligible for attending the test if you have these requirements then you can write the exam from wherever you are for conducting this online test they will be checking your system capabilities or system requirement so the participant must attend the mock test so this mock test is a simple 10 minute test it is mandatory for those who attend online examination if the participant failed in this mock test will not be able to participate in the online examination they have to choose either in person exams at centers or cancel the exams and take the refund and this is the detail about the first option so option 2 participants write exam at fixed exam centers exam dates are june 23 june 24 and june 25 option 3 participant can cancel and they will take a refund the participant can get 80% of the fee they have paid these are the three options if the participant choose option 3 then they will get 80% of the fee amount and also they will get the attested assignment score sheet also now we are going to see how to write the mock test first we are going to see the email they have sent regarding this mock test so first we have to open that mock test email that email you have received in your gmail account so that is registered email account if you open that email there start test button will be there if you click that button it will redirect you to another link in the, that link will show like this here you can see download msb software first you have to click that button and download that msb software and then you have to install that msb software in your system the installation will take few minutes once the installation is completed you'll be getting like this notification what you have to do is you have to click the proceed the test button it is showing some information so that is things to remember so here before going to 
start the test you have to close all the other applications once you have entered inside the test you can't open any of your software from your system so if any software is open you will be getting notification like this if you click this ok then what will happen is so all the applications here opened in your system will be automatically closed and the software will take control over your screen so now you are going to write the test once the mock test is started it will capture your image then it will ask you to show your id card so you have to show institution id card that is also captured by the msb software once it is over it will redirect you to write the mock test once you have started for writing the mock test you cannot access anything from your computer so the mock test is very simple test they have asked only few general questions only so once you have answered that questions you can complete the test so with the help of this test they will be checking your system requirement if you have passed this mock test then you will be eligible for attending the online test if you have failed in this examination then you have to go to option 2 option 2 is you have to go to the examination center there you have to write the exam and you can get the certificates so the option 3 is cancellation of the examination so you can cancel the exam also so once you will be cancelling the examination you will be getting 80 percentage of the money you have paid for that particular examination along with that money you will be receiving the assignment score with attestation thank you like the video subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for latest video update